Hello. Nigel Farage knows the betrayal is coming. Don't you, Nigel? Of course you do. You can smell it. You see, Nigel, Boris Johnson, like Theresa May, has no intentions of taking us out of the European Union. If Boris Johnson wanted to take us out of the European Union, he could do it tomorrow. He doesn't have to wait till the 31st of October. He could take us out tomorrow with a no deal and save Britain £39 billion. Pounds. But he's no intentions of taking us out of the European Union. And I believe you know this, don't you, Nigel? Of course you do. You know he's not going to take us out of the European Union. But let me put this to you, Nigel, to give you a picture of what we're up against. A clear picture of what we're up against. How many Hamas supporters are in the Israeli parliament, the Knesset? None. How many Chechen separatist supporters are in the Russian parliament, the Federal Assembly, is it? How many Chechen separatists are in the Russian parliament? None. How many Hamas IRA supporters are in our parliament? Well, exactly. And the so-called opposition to uh, those traitors, right? Are the Tories, Tory wets, Tory reactionaries, phony little Englanders, bogus patriots, right? Now, they know that their patriotism can't step over a certain line. Because if it does, you end up like Enoch Powell. Because the liberal leftist mindset shadow government will attack. You see, the liberal leftist mindset shadow government has followers, believers and disciples in very important positions, governments, media, journalism, Hollywood, the world of celebs, music industry, fashion industry, literally everywhere. And should anyone dare challenge the liberal leftist mindset shadow governments and step over that line then they will attack in unison and those brave enough to step across that line are going to be destroyed maybe you are aware of that line you can't cross nigel farage right but you're gonna to have to cross it if you're gonna take these bastards on you see how do you think people like boris johnson are still in a job these are all useless, fucking incapable, fucking, oh, clowns. But they're in their jobs because they don't challenge the liberal leftist mindset shadow governments. And they know there's a line they can't cross. Otherwise, it's curtains. So you see, Nigel Farage, this is what you're up against. Traitors on one side and the other side, cowards and phony patriots reactionary Tory wets. So these can't save Britain, let alone uh, deliver Brexit. This is what we're up against, yeah? Now, for you to take them on, you've got to cross the line. Now it's whether or not you've got the balls to do it. That's what you're going to have to do. You can't fight them within their little playpen. You've got to step out of it and attack them, right? That's what you have to do. Because if you stay within the playpen, and you're frightened to cross that line, then you're useless. But once you do cross that line, they're coming after you. You know that, don't you? And so does Boris Johnson. He knows if he takes us out of the European Union with a no deal. He knows, he knows the liberal leftist mindset shadow government's coming after him. That's why he's not going to do it. You see, these are my predictions as well, uh, Nigel, what's going to happen. Boris Johnson will drag his feet so the anger turns to apathy and he'll present to the people the, uh, the last and only uh, feasible deal and the public will accept it because the anger is now turned to apathy and they're fed up. And then at the general election, the public will vote uh, Boris Johnson and the Tories in because they don't want Corbyn in. They know voting for the Brexit parties is not going to solve anything. That's just going to open the door uh, for Corbyn. So I believe that's what's going to happen and the Brexit party will flop. But hey, listen, don't say my word for it. I may be wrong. I may be wrong. Field all your candidates. Let's see what happens. Then after the general election, right up 
a British nationalist manifesto, cross that line, rip up the rule book, spit in the fucking eyes and take the bastards on because it's the only way. Unless you step out of that plate, Ben Nigel, they'll just destroy you, mate. Okay, thank you. To Donald Tusk last Monday, Boris says that achieving a deal is our highest priority. He says a withdrawal agreement in that letter without the backstop would be satisfactory. Well, I suppose to him it would because despite all the language condemning the withdrawal agreement, despite the fact that twice he voted against it, you'll never guess what happened the third time it came back to Parliament. He voted for it. And that raises with me a very big question. Can you trust Boris Johnson on this issue? Can you trust the Conservative Party on this issue? You see, even without the backstop, this is the worst deal in history. Not only will it cost us £39 billion, pounds, but it would lead us into a transition period that has the option of being extended. So the transition period, if this deal were to pass, would go on until 2022. Despite all the fine words, it would leave us under the jurisdiction of the European Court of Justice for a minimum period of eight years. And when I campaigned for 25 years, in the run-up to the 23rd of June 2016, saying, we want our country back, I didn't do it so that foreign judges could overrule laws made in this country. It's unacceptable. And I thought from the very beginning that the acid test of Brexit was would we take back what is rightfully ours? Would we take back our territorial waters, the management of the fish stock and conservation within them, and hand back to the British fishing industry the chance for they and our coastal communities to survive and this withdrawal agreement does not take back our territorial waters and for that it is unacceptable. Yeah. And of course this withdrawal agreement binds us in the future to EU state aid rules. So we would not be able, as we're not now, to make strategic decisions about industry in this country. And I can think of no better example of this than the tragedy that is befalling British Steel. Mainly because of, mainly because, <laughs> mainly because of uncontrolled exports coming in from China, selling steel way below their cost of production, and the impotence of the British government to stand up and defend what is, after all, a strategic industry. Under this withdrawal agreement, we would not be able to stand up for British steel, and that makes it unacceptable. And this withdrawal agreement and the attached political declaration make a pledge to build on the customs partnership that already exists. I cannot for the life of me see, if we were to pass this agreement, I cannot for the life of me see that we would ever truly be able to leave the customs union. And that makes it perhaps the most unacceptable part of this whole withdrawal agreement, even without the backstop. <laughs> and as Boris said, and as Boris said, the first two times when he voted against it, 
It does not commit the European Union to having to give us anything in return in the future. And yet, this is now his highest priority. And you may have noticed there's been a change of language. Angela Merkel saying find an alternative. Donald Tusk saying find an alternative. Even Mr Macron being pleasant towards the British for a few seconds at least. <laughs> and I think Boris thinks that if he can get the backstop amended, he can put it to Parliament and he thinks that the ERG and many others will fall into line for the sake of the party. Well, Boris, you talked about do or die, about leaving the European Union on the 31st of October. And I would say to you, deliver or politically die, because I tell you this, any attempt, if he carries on with this course, any attempt to put this withdrawal agreement back, and if he thinks he can then put that to a general election, either shortly before or after the 31st of October, I want to make this pledge from the Brexit party. The withdrawal agreement is not Brexit. The withdrawal agreement is a betrayal of what 17.4 million people voted for. And if you go with the withdrawal agreement...